Let's go, let's go, man. Uh, let's get into it. So I've been taking a massive dump all over the NFL because the NFL is garbage. It's peaked. It's it's beyond horrible. It has reached a, a, a level of money-hungry queers that I cannot stand anymore. And Monday Night Football is terrible. You guys see the title. It's terrible. Now, I know people were kind of shocked about my Sunday night football. Like, I, we need to get rid of Sunday night football thing because, you know, the reason why I say get rid of Sunday night football is because it will make Monday night football more better. You will have 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock games. You get to digest all that and all the crazy stuff that happens throughout the night. You get to go to work and school and wake up and watch and come back home and um, watch some Monday night football. But let me tell you something. Monday night football <laughs> – sucks. Am I saying get rid of it? No, because I do think Monday Night Football is important. I like Monday Night Football, and Monday Night Football doesn't put the players in danger, don't really have a problem with it on its face value. But let me just tell you something, bro. I I'm sorry, and I, I can't be the only one that thinks this. I can't be the only one that feels like this. Why are the Titans and the Dolphins and the Seahawks and the Lions playing tonight? And why are they coming on literally a half an hour of each time? Like, so let me get this straight. You want to have two Monday Night Football games at the same time? Did you guys watch the, 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 the disaster that happened last week? You had one game that was a blowout. The other game was decent. But at the same time, it's the Bengals and Washington. Who cares at all about those teams? Unless you're a Bengals fan, which is not many, and they're all idiots. And unless you're a Washington fan, who you know, I mean, hey, you got Jaden Daniels, and I like Jaden Daniels. Who wants to watch that game? Who? And who in their right mind, <laughs> who in their right mind wants to watch the Titans and Dolphins and Seattle and the Lions? You want to watch Geno Smith and Jared Goff? You want to watch Tyler uh, Huntley and Will Levis? Even if Tool was there, who cares? Tool's, I'm not even sure if Tool is that much better than Tyler Huntley. Like, I mean, what are we doing here, bro? What, like, wh what are we doing here with Monday Night Football? This is, Monday Night Football used to be a big event. Like, okay, we have one Monday Night game. You got the Packers with Brett Favre and Greg Jennings and uh, Sterling Sharp versus the Giants with Lawrence Taylor and Harrison Carson and uh, Phil Sims. You got uh, the 49ers with the West Coast offense versus, I don't know, uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills with Jim Kelly, the run and shoot offense. Now it's the Titans and the Dolphins with Will Levis and Tyler Huntley? We got Seattle and the Lions? Jared Goof and Geno uh, Smith? Come on, bro. What are we doing here? And also, you have to add Troy Buck. Troy Buck. Joe Buck and Troy Aikman on the scene. These two bozos, I couldn't stand them when they were doing Sunday night football. Why would I want them on th Monday night football? These two are bozos. Troy Aikman has CTE, and Joe Buck's voice is beyond annoying. Joe Buck, anytime there's a big play, will literally just repeat the player's name. Like, uh, Saquon Barkley can run for, like, uh, 70 yards. Saquon will literally get the ball, hand it off. Jalen Hurts will hand the ball off to Saquon, and Joe Buck will be like, Saquon, Saquon. Saquon, Saquon, oh, he's down at the 17. Do you have any charisma to you? Me and CEO should be doing Monday Night Football. The Unfiltered Sports Podcast is way better than this Monday Night Crew. Troy Aikman, all he does is suck off uh, the Cowboys and talk about how much you want to play in this era because he'll get more money. Guess what, Troy? No one cares. You play in the 90s, shut up and enjoy the millions that you're making not even playing football by just sitting here and commentating football in the worst way ever. 
And not only that, when Stephen A gets his new contract, they're going to add Stephen A. Smith to Monday Night Football. I don't know. He's not going to be an announcer, obviously. But I'm sorry. Why would you add a guy whose expertise is basketball and he sucks at that to Monday Night Football? Like, why do you have to add? I get Stephen A is going to get a big bag, so you're going to give him more promotion and more stuff to do. But why are you adding Stephen A Smith to Monday Night Football? For what? And look, I also want to point this out, too. I'm not going to put him on the screen. Uh, I'll just put Aikman and uh, Buck on the screen. Or, matter of fact, because uh, I don't want to make this video that long. But, uh, I like the Manning cast. I love Peyton Manning, one of my favorite players of all time. I love Eli. As a former Giants fan, I still got love for Eli Manning. They are the entertaining ones out of Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, but I feel like their time has ah, – I hate to say I feel like their time has come because, I mean, they were cool at first, but now the guest that they have, it's like, eh. Like, you know, they, they – Great, it is the beginning of the season, so I think they had Tom Brady and Bill Belichick on the screen, so I mean, those are two, but they had like, you know, before they used to have like LeBron and, and Draymond, they had, they literally had like Obama, they had, who else did they have? Oh my gosh, I don't remember who else did they had. Like, they had some big names on there. Whether you like them or not, they had some big names on there. Now they're having Matt Ryan on there. And I get they had Matt Ryan on because they were playing the Falcons. But still, they had some other bozos on there. Like, they had The Rock on there, I think, at one point. They had Kevin Hart. Uh, Now it's just, eh. You know, it is what it is. I, I hope they didn't peak. But, you know, it is what it is there. But that's my thoughts. What are yours? Listen, Monday Night Football I'm not saying get rid of it. You shouldn't get rid of it. But can we stop with the double headers, especially when the double headers contain Geno Smith and Jared Goff, and on the other side, Tyler Huntley and uh, Will Levis? And can we get Troy Aikman and Joe Buck off the screen? And please don't add Stephen A to this list. Please don't. RJ out. <laughs>